Welcome back team, so good to see you as always. And if you are new to the Lean Machines family, welcome along. Don't forget to subscribe because you can get loads of content just like today's video, which is all about how to lose belly fat. Okay, let me just address the obvious elephant in the room. Or the two bees. You, you're the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> we don't often do topless videos anymore just because they're not really relatable to the video, but this video is about losing body fat, and sometimes it's good to show that you walk the walk as well as talk the talk. Right, let's get into it. Okay, let's get the boring, obvious things. If you've been following us for a while, you will know these things. Yeah. We've said them a million times. A slight calorie deficit is key. You need a slight calorie deficit. Your training and your nutritional consistency needs to be there over a long period of time. But what we're not really paying enough attention to and what we should be looking at is what's going on up here yeah. as well. And one of the first things we get asked when people come to us and they want coaching is, when is my cheat day? When can I have a cheat meal? And we don't really think of it like that. And the problem we have here is people follow uh, stars and people that are in very good shape on Instagram. They see them with a big tub of ice cream or eating a million pancakes. Well, let's look at it this way. Those people are in very good shape. They've been in good shape for a long time, so their bodies can probably deal with that quite well. Also, remember, it's just a picture. It's very, very often smoke and mirrors. They might have one of those pancakes. They might only have a scoop of that ice cream, and they might even allow for those calories in their day by doing more of a workout or eating less early on in the day. So don't hold, just don't think what you see on social media means, okay, that's acceptable. Just to summarize on that first point that John was making, you have to individualize your approach. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. We train together all the time, but our approach nutritionally is completely different. You have to remember that it's about you and what's sustainable to you. Exactly, and another thing we have with clients and people wanting to get them fit, what they do is they start a program, they do it for two weeks, then they see some jack girl in a magazine going, this is what I do to work out, and instantly they forget what they're doing and they yeah. start something new. So you never really know what works for you because you never give something the time to see it's value and oh this was great on this program but this wasn't so good so take the time to know what you're doing know your reps know your weights know your progress down and see what works for you which brings us perfectly on to the next point obsession and over obsessiveness with let's lose this bit I want to lose this bit I want to lose it takes time man it takes time there is too much crap out there telling you that you can do it in a couple of days or a couple of weeks you can't if you want to keep it off and you want to keep it off long term it takes Time. And it has to be sustainable it and consistent be. because otherwise it's not going to work in the long run. People want quick fixes and they want this and they want that, but you've really got to just filter all that crap out and go, look, can I carry on doing what I'm doing now in six months' time, in a year's time? Yes, it's natural for your body weight to fluctuate up and down. You're going to have times where you kind of have a week of not eating so bad. It's important not to throw it all away and kind of just spiral down and go, okay, I had a few bad days, let's get back on track. So what we suggest to you is, if you're starting to want to lose body fat, you've got one important ingredient straight away, motivation, enthusiasm. This is fantastic but do not put all of that enthusiasm and energy into worrying about your calories, worrying about your training, because that can easily turn into an obsession and a negative. You need to save some of that energy for yourself and the other aspects of your life. Work on your sleep, work on your happiness, and this will honestly really benefit your body fat goal. Exactly, so it really is about being happy. Like the basics, like in the, in the least patronizing way possible, calories and training is simple. It's Sometimes it's hard to do, but it is simple. If you do it consistently over a long period of time, you will get results. The hard part is actually doing it and maintaining it. So if you look to these other aspects, it makes that a lot easier. So on that note, we're gonna get out of your face. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you want a little bit more detail, give us the comments below and we will reply to them as much as we possibly can get out there get the body that you want and keep it love you all guys see you later bye guys